Hello and welcome back to the violent end of Duncan Malveen for what is hopefully the very last installment. So we just was looking for a place to kill up and read a book to try and find the other spades, but um, no luck. But I did spot us, which I hadn't seen before, which gave us some more loot. And that's something. However, in the intervening time, I looked up the Edge Spades because I did actually try recording this segment before and just searched the library again over and over and over. And, um,. It just uh, I wasn't getting anywhere. So I've looked up where the other space was. And uh, the mission author says check the reading room in the northwest of the ground floor, which is. First of all, there is no room labeled reading room, right? So that's already. Um, So does it mean this one? There's some books on the chairs, you know. Uh, this doesn't feel like a re uh, this doesn't feel like a room to curl up and read a book to me. This is an office here. This is an office, and this is clearly a sitting room for people who came to see your business. That's how I interpret it. But okay, here it is. Look at that. Made of spades. Problem solved. That's why we look things up, because the clue is misleading. If I mean label reading room, yeah, then, then I would have absolutely thought to check it, but... Didn't interpret it in any way as a place to go up and read a book. It was a place to sit and wait impatiently and maybe browse a book while you're waiting until Mr. Office Man lets you in. Alright. So, is it completely irrelevant to the murder? I also couldn't help avoiding seeing that when I was looking things up, in that all this, uh, all this stuff about the cards, about the idol... As I said, because the murder is randomized, I've already surmised that it was irrelevant, but confirmed. I was did not have to search for these 52 cards, it's been a complete waste of my time, except, I guess, I mean, it's a complete waste as far as completing the mission goes. Um, but not in terms of actually uh, completing the mystery. Wait, where's the Nine of Diamonds? Do I not have the Nine of Diamonds? I don't have the Nine of Diamonds, but... Where flowers grow without the rain, look down, and you'll the ninth obtain. So, I guess I missed skip that one when I was doing my notes. Well, we know where that is. Let's go, let's go do that. Uh, let's go down a couple of floors. Where flowers grow without the rain is pretty clearly the... Uh, Down here on the ground floor. Well, I mean, we should go there from here, right? West and south. Oh, that door vanished as well. What happens when you make your doorways this fat, right? Just straight doorways. You will always get some vanishing doors because of the dodgy door physics. Is that a frog that? I guess I did. The flowers grow without the rain. Look down and you'll the ninth obtain. Well, I'm looking down.
I mean, there's no flowers, right? Hmm. There is another layer, of course. What's the easiest way to get there? Up the stairs here. Let's check that. Let's check that section. Look at diamonds. Night. Look down and you're the ninth of pain. I mean, I'm looking down. Oh, of course, there's the basement level at part of this as well. So we might be we might be look down through the gaps in the floor that you can see. so we can turn some lights on, right? This flower's growing without the rain. Look down. There we are. Nine of diamonds. Okay, back to the old tower. I think I've KO'd everybody who likes to walk around here. I hope so. Remind me what this stuff is all about. Oh yeah, Francis and her dragon puppet. Okay. What I say is a fine if you're if you're running, they're usually okay if you're I mean usually okay when you're walking, but not always. Um Okay, so moment of truth. Let's let's do. I'm going to type locks, but it doesn't matter. All right, so card locks as well, not hard locks. It doesn't matter. King of diamonds. Yep, as predicted, it just gives us new keys. Jack of hearts. Queen of Spades. Mm. I mean, it's King of Clubs. And... Queen of Spades. Okay. Now we need to go down to the basement once more. To the dungeon, specifically. And what's the most expedient way there from here? Let's go to the dining room. There's only the one door on this level of the tower, yeah. Okay. So, something terrible is going to happen, right? Once we, once we do this. And I don't know who the murderer is. I'm going to say, I don't know, I'll pick somebody. Clubs. Diamonds. Hearts. 
Ну ничего себе. Статью. And this is it in its humanoid form. New objectives. Bonus. Do you believe in curses? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, the curse has been following me all this time anyway, so clearly I'm just fated to take the idol. All right. Is the idol is just a thing there. Two things left. We've got to. The weight of the treasure will keep the security system from being activated. If the treasure is removed, the weight sensor will rise, and the security system will be triggered. So, we don't need to go in there. The other thing... The reason we came here, right? That the Star of Seraphine. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the house entirely. I'm on the wrong side of the house entirely. I need to be on the western side. You know what, let's cut through here. I want the bust. So, in my hour of extreme frustration, what's this note say? It's about the murder. Wait, they, that, that exonerates. Elizabeth, like the Smith. Um, I get up to the bolt level most easily. You know what? The staircase at the front. I need to pick somebody as a murderer. I have no idea who the right one is. As I have not found it. Hello, somebody tried to burn some evidence. That I have not seen that before. Maybe that is important. If you want to get your hands on the contents of that vault, you'll need the code. As far as I know, the only living person that knows it is Lady Elizabeth herself. Tread carefully. Okay. That... Here I was hoping for a clue to the murder. Nope. Completely relevant. Found the key to the code quite easily in Lady Elizabeth's room. Ah, so as I was saying, I have absolutely no idea who did the murder. Because it's in the theatre, I'm just going to say it was Bridget. That she just murdered him when uh, he wouldn't take no for an answer. I don't have any, any murder weapon. Am I on the right floor? No, I'm not. I need to go up one more. I don't have any idea of a murder weapon right now. Wait, can I, can I even get there from here? Yes, this goes out onto the roof. From there I can get out to the theatre. So the vault. <coughs> so I guess I can search Bridget's room again a little bit to see... Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. <coughs> Southeast, come on now. Yeah, other side of that roof. Okay, let's go up on that roof. Oh no, wait, it's, it's just in that room. That is, that is the vault room. What is the vault control room? The vault's floor <coughs> below, right? Oh, I don't know. It's fine either way. 
So let's bridge this room again. See if there's anything that looks like a murder weapon. So that I can kind of feel like maybe I'm not accusing so innocent. But first, let's attempt the switcheroo, which I tried before and failed. And this time it worked. Okay, so I tried that before and it didn't work because the thing bounced and, and everything got set off anyway. So I thought, well, obviously the bust is the wrong weight and I need to find an item that weighs as much as the gem. And so I was hoping the main reason I was searching for all these missives, all 13 pages of them. Oh, we're still missing page two. Huh. Another secret passage I haven't found yet. I guess there's another secret passage I haven't found yet. I have no idea where it would be. I don't know. I'm probably not going to bother looking up. Although it would be nice if for a completion. What was I saying? When Bridget, ground floor C, southwest. Let's go search our rooms again. See if we can. I thought this was Bridget's room. Oh no, that's, that's Leon's room. It's a diorama room. I can have lights on now. Southwest? I guess we can cut across the courtyard, right? Wait, that's the front door. There's guards out there that are still active. Might want to uh, chew on me. That's not Bridget's room, where are we? This is Bridget's room. Okay, let's scour this room a little more carefully, although there's not really much else to say. She complained of a sorcerer, right? She doesn't have an alibi. Well, the diary doesn't say anything about her doing it, but it does say uh, she doesn't have to be concerned about the guy, she must practice looking sad. I mean, clearly she's not... I don't think she did it. But also... She's just to frame because she is not unhappy about him at all, and she was in the theatre, she has the motive, she has the opportunity. I have no evidence. But I mean, this whole effort isn't about procuring evidence, right? Because I just need to accuse somebody. And then whoever's, whoever is coming tomorrow is just going to say, oh yeah, it was them. I'm not actually having to present a case. So I guess I won't present a case. Let us leave the compost in the garden. Oh, where's the only gallery? Oh, it's an explorer. That's why I'm not finding it here. Let us go to the armor gallery and illuminate. That's a portrait. That's I came in here because I wanted to use the old tower stairs and I probably forgot.
I uh, feel like I might have got the bad luck. I mean, I, obviously I had to get the idol, right? I've, I've been cursed already. I've been getting bad luck, not good luck. Um, in the selection of who done it, the random selection that that it starts with. I want you guys don't need to stay in here. You're suspicious there. You're not suspicious if you're just cuddling over here, I suppose. Not that it matters, but it's, it's messy, right? Does that start the alarm or does that reset the alarm? I don't know, but either way. So. Certainly, like, if you've been stabbed with something small and sharp, where there was one person had a dagger, two people had knitting needles, you know, that would be, that would be a thing. Um, being poisoned, there's three different poisons, the symptoms... Oh, he has the ring as well. That doesn't tell me anything about the ring when I highlight it. Maybe I can't highlight it? Yeah, I can. Um... The symptoms of poisoning. The book of poison sort of told me which poison would have, was at work, I think, and that would that would have pointed to whoever it was who had one of the poisons. As far as all the other, I don't know how many combinations there are. There are different locations he can be murdered in, so I don't know. I do feel like, given the information I have and the information I've been able to find after scouring this place pretty thoroughly, though I know I'm missing one missive, and apart from one missive, I'm also missing a bunch of secrets, I think. I don't, I'm not bothered about the secrets. Uh, what am I doing now? Getting distracted again. I just remembered while saying I'm missing one missive. That... I didn't hurt myself, so it's okay. Uh... Oh, this guy's still here. Oh, let's knock him out. Who's there? Stop right there! Oh, fuck. What? Oh, I just fell. I thought I fell further than that. Oh, this is wine cellar. Can't see a damn thing. I just remembered that while I was looking up where the ape's base was, again, it was impossible to not see some spoilers. Um, someone said they were missing a missive, and someone else said, we'll go to the wine cellar and mount up on the workbench. And, um, well, hey, what do you know? I guess I found this one already, because I came through here. So that's actually why I came to the basement, just to check that, just in case that was another thing I'd miss. I guess that was not number two. Uh, number eight. Eight, I'm missing. All the missives. One, three. It is number two, I'm missing. I could look up missive number two. I 
feel like it probably should for completion sake, but now that I'm here. You know what? Let's look it up. I've looked at enough other stuff. Let's look it up. I'll be back. Okay, so. Good news. This missing page 2 is easy to find. Bad news is I am blind. Let's go back up to the card room. <clears throat> Apparently, someone says, Mr. Phase 2, check the room where you put the cards in the slots. Just one floor higher, right? Um, oh, hello. Gregor's final missive. New objectives. Bonus, you acquired all the pages of Gregor's final missive. Okay, so it's just assembled all the pages into this one. So page two. It was during the last of the great campaigns against the southern barbarians. We had driven the demon-worshipping pagans back deep into the forests. My band of soldiers and I were harrying them as they retreated, led on secret paths through the woods to strategically viable ambush locations by a couple of turncoat local guides. One day we came into a clearing where an ancient temple had once stood. Now it lay in ruins, but for one grand building in the centre whose stone still stood, holding back the creeping growth of the forest that tried to reclaim it. Twisted runes in some dead language covered its surface, and the air in that place had a noticeable chill. In a fit of what I took to be a pagan suspicion, our guides refused to go on and no threat or bribe could make them change their mind. Then, everything else follows. Have a care for your soul. But do not pray for mine, it's already damned. Well, I guess I'm the same. Good! Okay, so... It was there all along. Alright. Finally, we need to go... Like it says, yeah, when you think you know who killed him, turn on the portrait spotlight. I have not found evidence. I think I've probably got it wrong. But at this point, I don't know, what, nine hours into the mission? I don't know how long anymore. Too many hours into the mission. Southwest. Too many hours into the mission. I no longer care for justice. Well, oh no, it's not, it's not the Bridget's room we're going to, it's uh, the armor gallery. It's the east side, ground, uh, first floor. Look, I'm a thief, I'm just, clearly justice is not, you know, in my job description. I've already framed someone for all my thefts. The butler done it. So uh, we can frame somebody else for the murder. Agatha Harkwell. Howard Strickland. Killed at Harkwell. Judith Belcher. Terence Graves. Dorian Thornwood. Arthur Abram Turton, Bridget Crawford. Look at her, those. That's clearly the eyes of the murderer, right? It's obviously the eyes of the murderer.
You know what I just realized? Hang on a second. Yeah, 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 I'll go and do that again. What I have just realized is uh, I never got a screenshot. I never, never, I mean, there's plenty of places, I suppose, of the house that could have been good screenshots, but, um... I feel like a picture of his body lying in state is probably going to be good. Well, let's get a rope in front of it, but, you know, maybe that doesn't matter. Yeah, I think that'll do. And you know what? That's my last row power, but it barely matters, right? We can leave it there. Okay, Bridget. Turn your light on. Turn the room lights off. Whoops. Just to maximize the drama. Let's get out of here by the suits. <laughs> quick way down. Although, I don't remember the quick way down to the sewers, but it's not the pool room. Uh, it's not that room. It's not this room. Why is that one chair super bright? I guess it's just because it's pulled out from under the table and is the room lights hitting it. It just looks it just looks way out of place. Okay, this will do. This will get us to the basement. And for the sewers we need the boiler room. This is the theatre. Came the wrong way. Found this edge, just go. Boiler the room's near the kitchen, and it's the east side. We're definitely going the wrong way, but it's fine. We'll get to the right way. Alright, who's making the rocket? One of the grubbers again. Oh. Wait, what's the crubbers? Okay, we did get him to knock him out this time. How about that? After uh, he tried to chase me before. <clears throat> Justice has been served. It's the creepy barrel. The real culprit. Do you believe in curses? Well, I believe that barrel's cursed because uh, it sometimes moves of its own will. Barrels of true murderer. But unfortunately, because they never put a portrait of a barrel up in their gallery. Yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Because they never put a portrait of a barrel up in their gallery, I cannot use the true culprit of murder. And out we go. Farewell. Duncan Melvin. There was nothing there, right? I didn't see that. You, you didn't see that. There's no curse. I don't believe in the curse. You correctly identified Bridget Crawford as the murderer. She was arrested the very next morning. City Tribune, special report. Opera star found guilty. The famous soprano Bridget Crawford confessed yesterday to the murder of Lord Duncan Malveen earlier this month. In a scandalous statement, she claimed the nobleman tried to drunkenly force himself on her while she practiced in the private theatre in his home, causing her to lose her temper and lash out with the nearest thing to hand, a fake skull being used as a prop in Mr. DeWitt's latest opera. I found that fake skull. 
mean the money with theater props? I didn't connect it to the murder. That was like the first... Okay. I suppose it had dry blood on it, but I never went back to look at it after that very first episode. Huh, okay. So I had identified a murder weapon, but... Never connected it to the murder. Lord Melvin died as a result of several blows to the head. Many expected Judge Langdon to be lenient on the singer due to the alleged provocation, but he was not swayed by calls for pity and passed a maximum of sentence. Death by hanging. The execution is to take place tomorrow morning. You framed Howard Strickland for the theft of the Star of Seraphine. City Tribune. Star of Seraphine remains at large. Howard Strickland still refuses to divulge the location of the Star of Seraphine, the world's largest diamond, stolen earlier this month from the secure vault of the late Lord Duncan Malveen. The man, who was Lord Malveen's butler for many years, was caught red-handed trying to make off with a considerable amount of stolen valuables, but the Star of Seraphine was not among them. The City Watch has set up a task force to recover the stolen gem, but have so far turned up no leads. For his blatant crime and unrepentance, Mr. Strickland was sentenced to death and is due to be hanged tomorrow. Oops. Sorry, dude. Well, I am definitely surprised, I am extremely surprised that we got the murderer right, because I, anybody could have been in the theatre, I mean, the theatre was all I had to connect, and, and the fact that she wasn't repentant, but she wouldn't have been repentant, I mean, she wouldn't have been sorry about it, even if someone else had done it, so I feel like it's there wasn't evidence there to actually to truly point at her but fair enough got it right there was certainly no strong evidence for anybody else so fair enough fair enough how much money did we not find we found two bonus objectives apparently there's five and there's a bunch of secrets. Well, 9 out of 11 secrets, that's not bad. I mean, I guess we were hunting for... Uh, hunting for secret rooms for a very long time. Found 4,299 loot out of 5,011. There's another 712 loot somewhere. We picked the one pocket. I'm glad that we got that. Um, Look out 38 and one while I have one. Killer successfully identified? Yes. Uh, I Pages of Gregor's Missive found 13 out of 13, but Iron Plane Cards found 60 out of 52. Um, I'm extremely curious about, about how that stat is supposed to work. <laughs> Uh, because I did find all the playing cards, but apparently I found eight more than actually exist, which, you know, I've got to say myself, that's pretty impressive. They don't call Garrett a master thief for nothing. He can uh, summon loot-like objects out of thin air, apparently. Well, well. Well, well. And that is... Violent end of the violent end. That's the violent end of the story of the violent end of Duncan Malvane. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you next time for whatever the next mission I play is. Hopefully something short. I should check to make sure it's short for a change. Until then. <laughs>